Today we're going to be doing a knee x-ray. The routines used for a knee are AP and lateral. Film size is going to be a 10 by 12 lengthwise. Our technical factors are going to be 60 kV at 10 mass. Uh, that's doing it tabletop. You can do this in the bucky and if you do the technique would be 70 kV center cell. So we're going to have the patient laying on the table on their back. I'm going to place the shield across the patient. We are going to use a 40 inch SID. We're going to place the uh, film in the center of the knee. Our centering point for our AP is first we're going to rotate the leg in approximately three to five degrees. And what we're trying to do there is get the knee into the uh, true AP position. And when you take the film on this, when you're looking at it, what you should see is the uh, intercondylar eminence should be betrayed in the center of the tibia. Okay, and that's what we're trying to do by rotating the leg in. Our centering point is going to be about palpating the uh, patella and the apex of the patella approximately a half inch below that is the joint space and that is our centering point. I'm going to adjust my film so I am centered this way and this way. We need to include uh, the entire joint and as much uh, of the femur and tibia fib tibial fibula that we can include on the film size. Our marker placement is going to be in the light field but not obstructing any pertinent anatomy. And again, this is our AP knee view. Now we're going to do our lateral. We're going to have the patient to roll up onto their affected side, adjusting the shield. We're going to have the patient to flex the knee 20 to 30 degrees. We don't want to flex it more than 20 to 30 degrees because if we do, the patella will actually go back into the intercondylar fossa and we can't see a good joint space there. So we're going to have the patient roll up. I'm going to palpate the patella and adjusting it so that it is uh, perpendicular to the IR. We are going to angle on this. We're going to angle the tube five to seven degrees. And the reason we want to do that is the medial epicondyle is longer. And so by angling this, we are actually going to superimpose the condyles. Okay, it does open up the joint space uh, anteriorly and posteriorly, but it is uh, obstructed in the middle because of the eminence. Our centering is going to be one inch inferior to the medial condyle. And then our collimation is going to include, uh, we do want to have four-sided collimation. We are centered to our film. Uh, we want to make sure that we're to the skin margins. Got plenty of room here for our marker uh, that is in the light field but not obstructing. Can actually put, to help keep it in a lateral position, a sponge under the ankle. More comfortable for the patient and does keep it in a true lateral position similar to what we do when we do the tip fit. And this is our lateral knee view. Technical factors remain the same. Uh, 10 mass at 60 kV. If you're doing it in the bucky, it will be 70 kV uh, center cell. And these are our knee views.